said to you that I believe this is an account, uh, a story of something really that happened, and we can just read it on that level and say, ooh, it's a great story. You know? And we could even look at it a little deeper and say, uh, the battle is the Lord's, you know, and, and picture ourselves like David. But you know, really, what this is picturing for us, and what I'd like to suggest to you is that Goliath is a picture of everything that's against God, everything that's wrong. Could we say that Goliath is a picture of, of the, whole, uh, the whole situation of sin and death that was brought on by, by Adam's failure? And it's undefeatable by any of us. We can't fix it. We can't go, you know, we don't have, we're like the armies of Israel and in Saul, we're, we don't have what it takes to go against uh, the enemy of God. But you see, what he said was, give me one man that can defeat me. Give me just one man. And Jesus is the one man. You see, David is a picture or a type of Jesus. Uh, how he went in seemingly weakness to the cross. We would say that, that, you know, some people would say, well, how does that fix anything by him dying on the cross? It seems like weakness. But really, by that death on the cross, Hebrews chapter 2, uh, verse 14 says that uh, through death he destroyed him that had the power of death. That is the devil. Jesus did that. So David here is a picture of, of the one who would come later and slay the giant for us whose name was Jesus. But notice what it says here. Uh, that David took the head of the Philistine and he brought it to Jerusalem. Now, tradition tells us that he did bring it to, bring it to Jerusalem and he buried it there. I want you to read something with me. Turn to John's Gospel, chapter 19, verse 16. I want to read to you. I've said, I've made the assertion or the... Uh, uh, I've said that Jesus is the fulfillment of this picture that ultimately finds its uh, fulfillment, fulfillment in the death of Jesus on the cross, where by death He destroyed Him that had the power of death. That is the devil. I want you to notice something. You might not have noticed this before. In John's Gospel, chapter 19, the account of the death of Jesus on the cross. They've taken Him to be crucified. Chapter 19, beginning with verse 16. Then delivered he him, therefore, unto them to be crucified. And he took Jesus and led him away. And bearing his cross, he went forth to a place called the place of a skull. Now I wonder why they, you know, usually when we read this, we think the place of the skull, it's a hill that looks like a skull. That's not really what this means. Um, when they took him to be crucified at a specific place, it was... It was ordained ahead of time that this would be done at this place um, by God. A place called the place of a skull. Why is it called that? Which is in the Hebrew called Golgotha. Now, do you know why they call it Golgotha and it's called the place of the skull? Tradition, and you don't find this in the Bible, but in Jewish tradition, and I think when I tell you this, you'll be able to see it in this word. Tradition is that Jesus took the head of Goliath and he buried it outside of Jerusalem. And the place that he buried it was called the hill of the skull, or the place of the skull, and they called it by the name of the one that he slew, Goliath of Gath, or shortened and compressed, Gaul, Goth, Goliath of Gath, Gaul from Goliath, Gath from the place he was from, Golgatha, meaning the place where Goliath of Gath, where his skull is buried, where his head was buried, the very thing that signified the victory of David over the Philistine, over the enemies of God, is the very place where Jesus gained the ultimate victory over all the enemies of God. For us. So my point is to you, uh, just like David, when Goliath said, give me one man, Jesus was the one man who came out like David and, and took care of all of our enemies and brought us perfect redemption because he, was, he died in our place and was crucified. And I think it's interesting that the place was the very place where David buried the, uh, the skull of Goliath. I think that's interesting, don't you? Well, let's all stand up today.